guys all welcome to my channel and in today's video i am going to be talking about host valley scams and how you can avoid them and how you can say, stay safe when playing host valley so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's get started okay so i am going to be training my horse in the background so scamming used to not really happen in Horse Valley because there was no trading available in the game and obviously I don't think trading is a bad idea because um, I have used it, it's really great, you can switch horses with other people but there are some disadvantages to um, trading and one of those disadvantages is scamming and it's kind of been getting out of hand lately um, it's probably been like this for a while but the recently I've noticed so many people talking about how they got scammed and I've literally witnessed like three people in a couple of days being scammed pretty much right in front of me and I try to warn people whenever there's a scam because I just don't want to watch them get scammed and I don't want them to get scammed but sometimes you can't really you know like save people I guess like you try and tell them but it doesn't always work and sometimes you don't even notice someone is scamming so yeah and basically one of the scams like the biggest one is I think people kind of tricking you into giving your horse first and there is multiple ways that people do this one of them which i have actually seen um someone being scammed in this way it's not saying they're making some kind of tiktok video and that this person is going to give like they're gonna ask this person if they can have a horse for free and then if they are nice and give them the horse they will give them like loads of horses back and then they trade them and show that they're going to give them like whoa whoa loads of breeded horses nightmare horse ghost horse all of that but then it turns out that when that person gives them the horse they don't get anything back and the person leaves so another really big way of people scamming is through saying that they will train your horse if you give it to them and I feel like this is one where a lot of people, like a lot of people, agree to doing this. And um, my advice to you is, don't don't train your horses. Don't get people to train your horses unless it's like a really cl close friend or someone you can really trust. Don't just get random people to train your horses because you're basically trusting them with your stuff, and that's a complete stranger. And obviously. Sometimes people seem really nice and they will still take the horse because they're just pretending pretending to be like that. So yeah, just be very careful of that. Um, so if someone says that they will train your horse for nothing, um, they're most likely not going to do that. Um, they just want to see your horse because imagine spending like an hour for a random stranger like most people wouldn't do that and if you do guys, guys actually don't have time or just are too lazy or just simply don't want to train your horses don't want to just spend the time to do that because i do have to say that sometimes i'm in the mood for it but sometimes it's just really boring and i don't like it so i do understand if anybody doesn't want to do this and i did actually make a tutorial on how you can pay Rachel. Rachel is a little NPC in near the jumping arena to train your horses for you and that's like a legitimate in-game way of actually paying somebody to train your horses and that way you know you're not going to get scammed because it's just kind of like a feature in the game so yeah I'll just recommend doing that and not risking somebody training your horses. You can also get scammed the other way around, so if someone's um, saying that um, you have to train your horse, like they'll give you a bunch of horses for training your horse, they'll give you a horse, you'll train it for like an hour, you'll give it back to them, and then they will leave and they'll give you nothing. So 
that also happens I think less likely because a lot of people, a lot of scammers don't trust other people with the horses because they're scammers themselves and they know that other people scam them also um, but yeah that's, um, it's kind of sad that people do this but it kind of happens on almost every game that has some type of trading or something like that um, but yeah it's really easy to get scammed so just be really careful and just remember that most of the time you're not going to get anything for free and a big kind of fun thing in the game is earning all these things yourself and um yeah so just even if you really want something you will feel a lot better if you just get it through yeah i don't know like hard work i guess then someone giving it to you for free and then you're also risking getting scammed because most likely they'll want something back and then you will get scammed and get nothing in return thank you all for watching i also hope you guys like spice my new arabian i just bought her and i'm planning to do a breeding video with her i'm so glad that i got a man i was honestly so scared i'd get a stallion and then i wouldn't be able to breed but I got a mess, so that's very lucky, and, um, yeah, hopefully I will post a breeding video soon, and thank you all for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one, bye!